automate and simplify chores all around the house, especially our next guest does just that. Regular listeners will know we've talked about RoboRock several times. We use one in the studio, as a matter of fact, and we love it. It's all kind of cool stuff. So from RoboRock, their public relations manager is Dan Chom. Dan, welcome into tomorrow. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Glad to see you here, meet up with you, and we thank you again for providing a very cool RoboRock during our big summer giveaway. A lot of folks were, were hoping to win that. Only one did, but we'll wrestle something else from you next time. But it's, it's cool because everybody was asking about RoboRock. Tell me a little bit about the company first. Right, we, are, we, are specialize, we specialize in making robo vacuums and making intelligent ones. So what we really is going after is to provide a very automated experience to our customers where they, they don't really have to worry about you know how to use it, do I have to rescue it, you know, getting it stuck and stuff like that. So we want to really provide a, a seamless experience and to get people on board and you know, you know, just just have their floors clean. And no question here at CES, you're showing a new model. Is this available yet or coming soon? Tell me about the new model. Right, this is our new flagship model, the S7 Max V Ultra, uh, that we have just announced today. All right, this is not available yet on the market. It will be early Q2. Um, of this year. Of this year, okay, yes, good. that's good. right. And uh, I'd love to tell you more about it. Please, let us know. I mean, first of all, those listening on the radio that have yet to see the video, be sure to come by intotomorrow.com and check out the video of Dan and I talking about this. But this is a very cool device. Not only is it a, a robotic vacuum, but it docks itself, and I'm going to guess just by looking at it, it empties its, its litter, if you will. It washes through. It, it empties uh, the, the water. It adds fresh water. And this is all automated, right? That is right. That is right. So the idea, the inspiration behind this basically is that we, we look at how robot vacuums are on the market right now that, you know, they're supposed to be autonomous. Yeah. But, you know, there is still a, a certain degree of maintenance to, to, to go about it. And what we're trying to do here with the S7 Max V Ultra is come up with a system that really takes everything out of your hands. So how we do it is through a, a super dock. We call it the Ultra. All right? This dock self-empties. It washes the, the mop for you. And it also refills clean water into, into your water tank. Right? So I'm loving the fact that it's cleaning the mop. And you want to show us the underside of the device because there's a mop attached for, of course, uh, smooth surfaces. You know, you're not going to mop your carpet, but this is for hard floors, right? Yep, that's right. So this is the mopping module that we have on the S7 Max V Ultra. So as you can see, this is a, a mop cloth, and every every 20 minutes, we have programmed this to come back to the dock to have this scrubbed and washed. Every 20 minutes. So if it's cleaning the whole house, it knows to go back and scrub and wash the yep. mop part. Yep. And the idea behind this is really because you don't want your whole house to be mopped by the same mop pad because it, you know, for the second half of the of the cleaning run, it's going to be a little bit dirty. Yeah. So, so you you're spending dirt around the house, spreading it instead of cleaning it. Yeah. Exactly. So what it what it does is comes back to the dock, uh, comes back to the dock, and if you, you can zoom in here. There's, uh, there's a scrubber in there that goes left to right, left to right, scrubbing against this mop. So left to right, left to right. Right. And this is, this is done through um, a clean water tank, you know, putting water into this dock, putting water into this dock, supporting the scrubbing, and whatever dirt that is being disintegrated goes into this drainings, <coughs> drainage system, and this goes into the dirty water tank. So this is, in, in, in a nutshell, how it works. So then obviously very easy, empty the dirty water, fill the fresh water tank. How often do you need to do that? Right, so every, every you know, this, this clean water tank, it, it supports up to 3,000 square meters, uh, square feet okay. of, of cleaning space. So it depends on how big your house is, obviously. Exactly, exactly. and I, I mentioned that the default setting is every 20 minutes it comes back to the dock, but if you're a clean freak, if you, if you want it to come back more often, you can program it to come back every 10 minutes. And if you, if you decide, maybe you, you don't need that frequent. You can actually go all the way up to 50 minutes. So depending on your own preference. Yeah, yeah so that, that would really affect how, how much water is being used for the washing and how much water you know, is, you know, is left for cleaning your, your home. 
Now, does this new model also have a camera attached? Because one of the yes. cool, oh, it does, good, because oh, yes. one of the cool things on a recent model is being able to watch it as it cleans the house. And you can see it, of course, at ground level right. as it goes under the tables and everywhere. That's really pretty cool. I, I've always gotten a kick out of just watching it go. And people say, really, you don't have anything else to do? No, it's cool. <laughs> I'll quickly speak to that. Okay. There's this camera system on this. The primary function uh, is to really help it identify and avoid obstacles. Yeah, it's not just for my entertainment. It actually has a purpose. I mean, the, the main purpose is to help it avoid obstacles like your shoes, your socks, um, and even pet accidents. So you, you want your robot vacuum to clean around those obstacles and not getting stuck on it or you know dragging stuff around your house. Oh, especially as you mentioned pet accidents. pet accidents. So I'm thinking folks watching and listening are saying, I never thought of that, but that's true. You don't want that dragged around the house. Exactly. And, and um, you know, Dave mentioned something fun. Uh, you want to also be able to, to see the world through the lens of a robot vacuum. You can do that with the SMX V Ultra. We have something called remote viewing. This function. Through Wi-Fi, very simple. Yeah, on your app, you basically press on that function. You look at, you know, you look at, you know, what the robot vacuum is looking at. Um, to put it in a use case, you can actually check in from afar. Like if you are away from home, you want to check in on your pets, you want to check in on your children. You can do that, and there's also a voice, a two-way voice, um, you know, communication. You have two-way communication on this model. So this is like a walkie-talkie. With a, with a remote viewing uh, function, yeah. so you can actually check in from afar and say, hi, uh, yeah. how are you doing? And you know, check in for, on your kids and, and your talk, pets. Talk to the animals, and we have one listener that says they get a kick out of chasing the cat around. No, never harming anything, but the cat seems to like it too, so fine, you know, it's another, an additional purpose while it's cleaning your house, right? Yeah, that, that, is, the, that, is, the, that is about the, the camera system. And uh, before we end, we, we really want to introduce you to what's good about the mopping, because we talk about how it cleans the mop and stuff like that. On the S7 Max V Ultra, we have our proprietary mopping system. It's called Wiberize. I think you covered this on the S7. Yeah. Uh, what's good about this is that it ide automatically identifies carpets so that it lifts its mop, so not to mop your carpets. Yeah, That's you don't want your carpet wet. Exactly, <laughs> wet and dirty. Yeah. And number two, it uses sonic mopping, so basically a high frequency to really, to really scrub against the dirt and to disintegrate it. And that, that is really, that's really effective. Yep. And that's something we all want is a little sonic mopping uh, to get the job done. It does a much better job. Dan, you're fun to talk with. You've got cool products. So keep innovating because we'll keep looking at RoboRock for more cool tech. Yeah, that's what we aspire to do. All right. Thank well, you. We appreciate that. It's our pleasure in us.roborock.com. And of course, you see it on the video. We link you to Dan's site when you visit us at intotomorrow.com. So be sure and come by and see the video as well if you're listening on the radio and check it all out. This and many other interviews from Las Vegas and our 27th year here at CES. I'm Dave Graveline. We continue bringing you further into tomorrow right here on the Advanced Media Network.